What's up guys, I'm Dan, and today we're gonna to be going over some single GPU versus Crossfire benchmarking results. We go over six games and 3D Mark Times by Extreme. I pretty much got exactly the results I thought, which was all over the place. So let's take a look. First up, we have 3D Mark Times by Extreme. Almost twice the score in Crossfire as I did in single GPU. In this particular benchmark, I had them running at 1450 megahertz, but in the future gaming benchmarks, I had them running at 1380 megahertz. I knew this was going to be a good one since 3D Mark is well optimized for multiple GPUs. Next up, first game we have is Battlefield 4. I used the Ultra preset. This is about a 70% increase in average frames per second which is pretty substantial. The most substantial thing I'm seeing here is that minimum frames per second made a large increase, which is pretty huge if you have a 144 hertz monitor. Project Cars, this was on the highest possible settings. Crossfire took a pretty, uh, pretty big beating here. Actually went down 38% in average frames per second. Fortunately, I don't play this anymore, and there is Project Cars 2 now. Grand Theft Auto 5 made a nice increase, 68% in crossfire increase over the single GPU in frames, average frames per second. I did have that with almost all settings maxed out. Witcher 3 using the Ultra preset. This is the disaster of the bunch. I believe, let's see, uh, went down 64% in average frames per second. It was extremely choppy and unplayable. I would go to turn around and it would continue moving in several seconds after I finished moving. So that was not so good. Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO in the highest possible settings. Both of these are perfectly good results. Uh, minimum frames per second is the most notable increase in Crossfire. Overwatch using the Epic preset. Again, a nice minimum frames per second increase and 52% increase in average frames per second. Again, if you have a 144 hertz monitor, that would be very beneficial to you. So in conclusion, games that are optimized for Crossfire give you significantly increased performance, whereas games that are not optimized for Crossfire give you either the same or significantly decreased performance. The worst offender by far was The Witcher 3, which was actually unplayable. For games like that, my advice is to just disable Crossfire and then re-enable Crossfire when you're playing games that are optimized for Crossfire. My bigger picture advice is purchase the best single card you can afford rather than having to worry about what games are optimized for Crossfire or aren't optimized for Crossfire. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe for my future videos, and have a great day.